Hey foodie tribe, it's Gloria and welcome back to my channel where if you're new, welcome to Gloria Scout Living where I create content on food, travel, and life in general. I get to go on my first trip for 2022. I am taking my daughter to Spokane for a college function and we're driving. So it's only it's about six hours from the Portland metro area. So in this video, I will show you how I get ready for a trip, a road trip. And I will also show you how I plan for said trip. So I just finished getting my car or washing my car and cleaning out my car you know all that vacuuming and everything because I just feel like when you take a road trip like you do not want a junky car debris and everything because you're probably gonna be eating in your car and it's gonna get messy but I rather start off in a clean base so this morning I got up and I vacuumed the car and I'm on my way somewhere so I'm not looking at the camera too much so um, yeah, I cleaned up the car, cleaned the mirrors, washed outside, vacuumed, all that. And now I'm on my way to get an oil change. I am actually a little ways past my oil change, but um, I knew that this trip was coming up, so I wanted to get it closer to the time that my trip is, which is in like two days. So I am on my way to Valvoline to get a quick oil change. I usually would go to Midas because I have a rapport with my Midas in Beaverton. So yeah, I would usually go there, but they'll probably be booked out and I need it immediately. So I'm just gonna go to the Valvoline, not too far from where I live at and get my oil change. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to make sure I cook some dinner that will last for a few days because my youngest daughter will be here with her dad and I want to make sure that she has what she needs while we're gone and I need to get road trip snacks because a road trip is not a road trip without snacks so I always go to Dollar Tree for that so I'll probably stop by Dollar Tree if not today then tomorrow to get snacks for that trip so yeah, I'm on my way to run these errands, finish like getting the oil change and get the car ready. And when I get home, I will show you guys how I plan for a road trip. Okay guys, let me show you how I usually plan for a trip. So we're gonna use my current trip that's coming up tomorrow as an example. What I do is always go to that particular city's or state's um, tourism site. So for this instant, it's called Visit Spokane, Washington. This is not sponsored. This is just how I do my research about places that I'm going. So I go to their site, see you know what everything is about. Um, I usually do this weeks in advance. Uh, you know I kind of run through it and it's always good to like look on the site physically but if you want a physical book you can always get their guides and most of the time they're free so I ordered a guide a couple of weeks ago and I actually have a physical copy of their guide on here so either the physical copy or here whichever way you guys want to go 
just go through and see what that particular city has to offer they also sent me a map of like hotels and different things so that's good to have but you know just going through and seeing what restaurants they recommend what uh, places to visit they recommend um, different you know different things about like their districts here some of their districts are um, like I'm into art so like they have a garland district murals and um, what each district or suburb so to speak has to offer so this is good to have whenever I go to a city that I know I'm going to be at for the main bulk of my trip I will order a a guide to see what they offer but let's just go back to their online if you're just looking online and you don't want a physical copy so you just go through everything and we'll do this things to do events food and drink where to stay um, how to plan your trips you know all that good stuff so my main thing is of course food and things to do so I'm really interested in um, not so much shopping but like their main attraction is the Spokane Falls so in downtown Spokane they have a waterfall and on this this particular waterfall they also have kind of like this aerial ride which you can see where to go like right here they have this aerial ride and if you you know read through this it'll tell you more about it learn more explore the falls so i will be you know spending a lot of times at the falls which is also a part of um what's the name of their of this park that they have but they have like different viewpoints suspension bridges um, the history the sky ride which is what I want to do um, they have a strong like Native American history there so you know going to different sites and finding out more information about that if you're into art you know they have like cultural museums and just different things so this is how I get the bulk of my information on me like what to see restaurants I like to go to Yelp I'm an avid Yelp user and I will put in Spokane spell it right and then here I will put in restaurants and they give you like the popular restaurants you can use the filters you can you know put uh, specific foods if it wants to be pizza if you want Korean food whatever put that in there and I like to read the reviews I like to look at the menus all that jazz so I use Yelp for restaurants I use the the visitors guide for um, like interesting things in that area and then I also will go on to Google and put uh, interesting things to do in Spokane and I'm only typing with one hand so things to do in Spokane which usually will take you back to the visitors site but they also have like other things like 15 top attractions and things to do in Spokane uh, fifth, travel advisory has the 15 best things to do in Spokane so uh, YouTube is also another good search engine if you want to go to YouTube and type in you know things to do in Spokane I'm quite sure there's somebody's video there about Spokane so that's another thing that I would do just to kind of get an idea of what I might want to do so I mean that's just how I 
plan my trip I you know find things that interest me and I write them down uh, like where I'm staying at and then the things that I want to see and then I try to it's not strict it's very flexible but like the main things that I want to see and do and places that I want to eat I will write that down and have a list and work within that list and sometimes work outside of that list if someone there recommends me to do something else so I hope this helps you guys I hope this helps you guys uh, plan your next trip and it's you know it's just what you make it how you plan for it it everyone's different this is just how I do my trips um, it works the same way if I'm going somewhere that's not a road trip if I'm flying somewhere and I have like a little layover it's all it all works the same way this is how I just do my research on places that I'm going to visit so hope you guys this helps someone and stay tuned for the Spokane vlogs and until then remember to cook eat enjoy travel live repeat peace